I'm Dan Mosier, President of Angus Genetics Incorporated. We're here at the National Junior Angus Show, and we're talking about the new Angus Genetic Evaluation that was released on July 7th. We've received a number of questions from breeders about the changes they've seen in their cattle, and I want to visit with you a little bit about some of those changes. One question we received is about the timing of the evaluation, the time since the last calibration, and how that impacted the changes. We have received a number of, of new uh, data points since that period of time, a large number of genotypes. However, the biggest change is not the new data, it's about the new approach. And in fact, had we had a more, cur a more recent calibration since the last one we released just 14 months ago, it wouldn't have changed the, the outcome on a lot of the cattle. That by far the, the changes in the single step approach, the changes in the carcass model, and the changes in the parameters had the biggest impact. Another question we've received from breeders about the new single step evaluation is whether there's more emphasis placed on genomics or less. And actually that depends on the animal. Some animals will see more emphasis on genomics relative to pedigree in their own performance data because those animals have a, a large number of ancestors and relatives that have lots of measurements for the traits that we're interested in. And so for those animals, there's a higher degree of accuracy and confidence in the genomic predictions, and so those animals will see relatively more weight on genomics. Other animals that don't have DNA similarities to animals with a lot of recording, particularly for some traits, uh, will actually see less change. One of the things we like about this system is the, relative, the ability for it to weight genomics more or less depending on how well uh, the data and the genomics describe those animals. Another change that occurred this July, just like every July, is, is new dollar B calculations. Specifically, we put new economic values to give Angus breeders and their commercial customers the most current uh, economic information, things like prices for, for fed cattle, feed costs, those sort of things, uh, into the evaluation. So some of the changes in dollar B were a result of that. However, the biggest changes were more likely changes in the component EPDs. Specifically for dollar B, the EPDs that drive that value, that terminal sire index, are carcass weight, marbling, feed intake, and to a lesser extent, ribeye area and fat thickness. And so as the new single step evaluation did a, a more accurate job across the population of describing differences in carcass weight, in, in marbling, and in feed intake, those would be reflected in dollar B values that are calculated as of now. To find more information about the Angus Genetic Evaluation, go to www.angus.org/agi.